86-year-old Pope Francis underwent abdominal surgery on Wednesday. The three-hour procedure to repair a hernia was deemed a success. Chief Surgeon Dr. Sergio Alfieri of the Gemelli Clinic in Rome briefed the public. This afternoon, the Pope arrived to the Gemelli Hospital, Paul Clinico Gemelli, Università Cattolica, because he had the post-operative hernia with the uh, syndrome of, 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 the, of the bowel that in the last months caused uh, pains and uh, very often also subocclusive syndrome. So with the other doctors, we decided to proceed to operation. We decided in the last days. And uh, during the uh, operation, we found uh, an important uh, um, connection between the, the bowel that, and the peritoneum and uh, we free all of the additions. And then uh, we uh, arrived to perform uh, the, uh, with the repair, the defect of the hernia in the, in the normal way. The surgical operation and the general anesthesia were well tolerated by the Pope. Now he's awake, he's uh, fine, and he's uh, already at work. Joining me now with an update on what he's hearing from Rome is journalist and editor-in-chief of the CatholicThing.org, papal posse member Robert Royal. Thank you for being here, Bob. What do we know about the circumstances leading up to the Pope being admitted to the hospital this week? Well, we don't know a lot. I mean, this is sort of typical of the Vatican, that unlike, you know, other institutions, they don't provide a lot of background to what's happening, and, and even when uh, there's been a procedure like there was uh, with the Holy Father this week. They don't give us many details. The, the, the doctors have given us a little bit in, by way of detail. You know, sometimes I think that the mm -hmm. Vatican is a bit like the old Soviet Union. You know, they used to joke that somebody like Brezhnev was fine until Tchaikovsky started playing only on the radio. They canceled all other, <laughs> you know, all other broadcasts. I mean, it's not quite that bad. But the, the Holy See is typically and historically, even with other popes, like to keep these sort of personal things uh, quiet. Uh, one of the surprising things yeah. I thought in the in the news stories was that the Pope apparently had some sort of abdominal surgery in Argentina before he was elected Pope, and that may have played some yeah. role in the, uh, the the hernia that they say he developed in his abdominal wall that was so very painful, and mm -hmm. that this surgery was it's not a, a surgery that's pre performed on an, an emergency basis. It was scheduled well in ha ahead of time, and we just weren't told about it. Mm. On Tuesday, Vatican spokesman Matteo Bruni uh, announced that the Pope went to the hospital for health checks and returned to the Vatican before midday. Then on Wednesday, the Vatican announced the Pope would undergo surgery to repair this uh, incisional hernia. Why not just announce that the Pope would need surgery after the hospital visit on Tuesday? I mean, does the Vatican comm shop perhaps need an overhaul here? Yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of complaint, not only about these sorts of, of health questions, but about the lack of coordination uh, in the Vatican in general and in, in its uh, public relations. Mm -hmm. So it's not surprising. Uh, maybe they're a little bit more protective of the Holy Father's health, uh, because there have been multiple health scares recently. I mean, in the last month or two, we've had he had the, the very serious yeah. bronchitis and was in the hospital for several days. Um, he, you know, he had that fever that, that forced them to cancel the... Um, some, some of his appointments just a few weeks ago. And now this, and I, I get the impression that they schedule this now because apparently it takes six weeks for recovery after a surgery of this kind. And they've been scheduling uh, trips for him to the World Youth Day in Lisbon in early August and then to Mongolia later. Right. So he's got about a little over six weeks and maybe that's why it's now and they kind of kept it uh, somewhat discreet. Hmm. How serious do you think this is, Bob? I mean, this is this is the Pope's second abdominal procedure I in Rome, the first in 2021, when Dr. Alfieri performed colon surgery. They took a portion of the Pope's colon out. Um, and as you mentioned, there is report of an earlier surgery we never heard about. The Pope's schedule has been cleared through at least June 18th to allow him time to recover from this procedure. But how serious do you think this is? Well, look, uh, an 86-year-old man who has other health problems, um, it, it's serious. Is it, is it dire? I don't think it's that. I think we, we probably would have heard from the doctors if, if there was something more serious than that. But they took out 
something like 13 inches of his colon in that previous operation. Mm -hmm. And I've actually talked with some friends. I, I, in particular, I have, I have a friend uh, who ran a cancer clinic for many years, and she was very concerned about it because she said it sounded to her like there was uh, some sort of tumor, cancer, whatever. They, the Vatican keeps denying this. The Holy Father denies it. The doctors the, in, the, in this recent uh, operation said there was no other pathology present. So maybe there is and maybe there isn't, but it's, it's not a, a small mm. thing. And as we know, the Holy Father has been refusing to get um, knee surgery because he would have to go under general anesthetic, which he had to do for right. this procedure. You know, it's a very tough thing. We know that Cardinal Pell came out of his surgery seemingly okay, and then within a few days had a, had a, a heart problem and then died. Right. No, no. Uh, the, the complications are really, um, you know, they're, they're at this age, when you're dealing with patients of this age, complications can come a week, a few days, or a month later. So, uh, you know, we pray the best for the Holy Father and for his recovery. And, Bob, we'll leave it there for now, but you'll be back with us uh, on June 15th with Father Jerry Murray right. and the Papal Posse convenes for commentary of the USCCB Spring Assembly and much more. Thank you for being here. My pleasure, Raymond.